Our next speaker is Gerge Sertic. Gerge is the CEO of Analogy, a startup company here in Hungary that develops artificial intelligence. Gerge, as you will hear in his speech, is very interested in how the mind works and the implications on this for the future. So to introduce the speech, mind-blowing future, please welcome to the stage, Gerge Sertic. So we are facing a mind-blowing future but maybe in a very different sense than we normally think we would. When we prepare for the future, we usually think of gadgets that's going to invade our lives or the internet that's going to take over control. But through our quest of artificial intelligence, we have found that beyond the technological revolution that we're all well aware of, there is a new, there is a new revolution coming up, and it is the revolution of the mind. Tonight I'd like to share with you two ways how the revolution of the mind is going to reshape the notion of mind-blowing. Very recently, a group of researchers have put a brain scan on a monkey that could convert brain signals into controlling a robotic arm. The monkey, the monkey was fast to learn that he could use his third arm to fetch the boring things he was instructed to while happily fresh, scratch his belly with the other two. These researchers have even pushed this experiment to its limits, where the monkey could control a full-sized robotic body 10,000 miles away from his real one. Wow, isn't that great? But how far is that from the ability of shifting our own consciousness to an external device? Can you imagine calling your daughter to dinner and she answers, sorry dad, I'm in Paris now, uh, but you're sitting right in front of me. Come on dad, can't you get it? This is just one of my bodies. Now that I call mind blowing, but in the sense of extending our minds. And it also raises some very serious questions about consciousness for who is the me who can be transferred to an external device? Well, escaping our bodies might be interesting, but there is another aspect of the revolution of the mind that is just as well interesting, and that is our growing ability to re-engineer our own identities. Reshape, reframe, reprogram, whatever you call it, but it is in the context of the mind. Now, what exactly can be reprogrammed? Have you ever been to an argument where you knew that you would say this and then she would say that and you would say this and then she would say that and then you will be angry and she'll rush away in pain? Familiar? Well, those are like having scripts that we both act upon, but the play is a drum. And who would like to do a life of drama if we could play comedy? It's like a program that is running autonomously. <laughs> so it's like a program that is running autonomously, ending up in hurting someone or in suppressing yourself. We call these restricting patterns. Now what if I could give you a pill that has a proven effect of building new synapses within your brain so that you can overcome these obstacles and get rid of these patterns. Would you want to take it? How would you know that it had the right effect? How would others know that you took the pill? What would be different? The funny thing is <clears throat> that I just handed you the pill. <coughs> this very question of how would you notice that something had changed for the better has the proven effect of building new synapses within your brain so that you can overcome your obstacles. I happen to be working with some of the best coaches in the world and I saw them using these pills helping people and teens to transform 
their restrictive patterns into patterns of possibilities. Okay, but you could still say, yeah, people change, they develop, what's so revolutionary about it? Well, we encountered these resources through searching the fields of brain and cognitive sciences to know what to build into artificial intelligence. And we have found that some of the results are so firm and articulate that they can be transformed into an algorithm that can be built into a virtual coach that can help you solve your own problems. Now, can you imagine the variety and the power of the tools that these sciences will be able to provide us to re-engineer our own identities, families, teams, corporate culture, our society. Now that, I think, is much more mind-blowing than, than any gadget I have ever seen. And it also raises some serious questions. Who are we to know what to wipe out and what to keep during our re-engineering of our identities? And on the other hand, what is consciousness if patterns of behaviors can be extracted and put into a virtual coach that at least can act as if it had some kind of consciousness. Tough questions. Scary? It might be. But I also find it even more fascinating, for at least this revolution is not just pushing us towards a more comfortable and lazy life, like the technological revolution does, but urges us to dive into some really important questions that can evolve into an ever-growing consciousness. So, I'm inviting you to join me in stopping from time to time when you meet something mind-blowing and examine, just for a moment, is it blowing your mind away or is it part of the revolution of the mind?